them up because they have nitrogen in them. And then I use uh, coffee grinds and everything. Mm -hmm. And all I do is constantly turn this in the road mm -hmm. because now some plants you can plant and you can put them back, plant something else there. But beans you can plant and put it back because it adds nutrients to the ground. Mm -hmm. But okra takes nutrients from the ground. So if you take okra, you truly can't put something and plant it right back real quick. It's totally different. So what could kids really learn from coming out here? Coming out here, first of all, they can learn, don't quote, they can learn to stay out of trouble. Mm -hmm. But uh, honestly, they can learn that, uh, first of all, I want to show people that you don't have to have a big lot to have a nice garden. Because next year we're changing this to raised beds. We just went to do a tradition for two years. We're going to raise bed. We're going to show them that they can have a small proximity, just like this right here, and grow enough of vegetables to last them all summer long. It don't take two cucumber plants, two, three okra plants, and a little block, something like that, and uh, tomatoes. You know, they grow like cats and dogs. I mean, you know, three tomato plants, and you got it. Mm. Now you need it just a spot, just like this, but you got to know how to do it. Mm. So, so year one was kind of. Uh your focus was on producing the plant, producing the uh, produce and giving it away. Yeah. Now you're bringing in kind of an educational element. Yeah, that's what we want to do. We're trying to get the people to embrace it. But, you know, before people embrace it a lot, they have to trust you first. So this is our second year, and they realize that we don't sell anything. Matter of fact, the lady just stopped a few minutes ago and donated me some violets, flowers. And I'm <laughs> going to set them out and plant those so people begin to contribute.